What? I got on pause. Okay. What? Pause right now? Yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. I always thought it was kind of funny they had the team picture and the Al's in the picture. He's like, we just drove the van, you know, but he's in it, you know, so it's kind of like, why'd you get in the picture? He should have been in it, I'm going to say he should have, but it's kind of funny. I'm going to give him a bad time. <laughs> Say it. I'm, I'm going to... Just finished a home swim meet 
And I was walking down the hallway and there was two gentlemen there that have had a tremendous amount to do with our swimming program, El Pendergrass and Rob Bigwood. And they said as we left that hallway, I don't know if you remember that, Al, but uh, they both said that if things broke right, this could be the first state championship ever in Fergus Falls history. And they were prophets. Uh, they saw something that I'm sure a lot of other people had seen as well, but uh, they've been around swimming for many, many years, and uh, I just thought back to that uh, yesterday at the University of Minnesota. Uh, we're very proud of the blend that we have in activities and academics in the fine arts here at Fergus Falls High School. We try to stress with our people the importance of all of those aspects in one's life. And then to have the coaches that we have that are sitting here today uh, in front of you and the things that they work on day in and day out, morning workouts, a number of times that we've opened the weight room in the morning for some of these kids to come in and lift and get themselves ready for their next match or their next meet has been fantastic. And you people are a big part of that, uh, the people of Fergus Falls. Uh, we couldn't be more proud to represent yesterday and Friday and Thursday at the two venues at the XL uh, Center and also at the University of Minnesota. And what a fine job these young men and their coaches did.